Yes, 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 guess who's back on your screen? It's Kev Nizzle. Man, I know it's been a long, 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 long ass time since I last posted a video. It, it, um, yeah, it kind of wore off on me, you know, making videos every week. I'm, I'm today, you know, these times, I'm more of like posting pictures of my hats on Facebook and everything instead of, you know, making a video for everyone that I own. But, uh, I just wanted to show you guys a new video this time. I've gotten in a lot, a lot of hats, you know, in the, in the meantime, since I haven't posted a lot of videos anymore. And, uh, you know, my dad helped me up, helped me, hooked me up with putting up some new shelves so I could store all my caps. Well, I still need to make two new more shell, two new shells so I don't have to stack them on top of each other. But, you know, that's a different story. Anyway, um, I want to give you guys a rundown of the caps that I own at the moment. But first off, at the start, you know, of this video, you probably already saw it. I got this thing last Saturday in Dusseldorf, Germany. It's the official G-Shock collaboration with New Era. I hesitated at first, I saw it in the store, I hesitated, but in the end, you know, I thought, you know, fuck it, man, I just need this. As a new air collector, this is the perfect watch for me. I'm not gonna go into full depths, because, you know, you've probably already seen other YouTubers making review videos, and etc. for it. It's not even the best quality I could show you with this little camera. I'm using a different camera right now, so, you know, if the probably... If the quality is a little different, it's because I'm using a compact camera to video this. So, um, anyway, yeah, let's go into the rundown of the caps that I own at the moment. I'm probably not, I'll try to, you know, give him the official name, but, you know, what New Era gave him, but I don't know the official name for all of them, so excuse me if I'm wrong. Don't quote me on any names. Here we go, here we go. Let me get this thing first. So let's start off with the very first cap I've ever owned. It's the thing from the Fantastic Four New Era collection. It's the very first cap I own, and it's you know it's my it's it's my most emotional cap these days. And um, you know the people who got this, you know the the material at the time was very very exclusive. It had this 3D rock like material printed on it, so really dope right next to that we got mr fantastic made of this you know um scuba diving gear material it's a bit stretchy material so really dope right next to that we got invisible woman with the back half you know transparent to show off her powers as you can see you can see straight through it really really cool and then we have the human torch. As I'm filming this, I see that the bottom of the bill is a bit dirty, so I'll have to clean it up. Excuse me for that. Really sick. Let me move this so I can get a better shot of this. Right here we got the Thor helmet. And I'll do the upper row right after I'm done with this row. Really sick. This hat, man, when you wear it in the sun. Shines, it sparkles, it's really an attention grabber, really sick. I love it. I love it. Avengers vs. X Men, all over print hat. It's really dope. It's a really sick hat. Fits really nicely in the hat, too. We got the Spider Man villains all over, where on each panel, Spider Man is battling a different villain. And on the top bill, that's gotta be the sickest bill ever. We got Venom. Originally, the sticker was right in the middle of it, and I was like, man, no way am I gonna let that sticker ruin, you know, one of my most favorite Marvel characters ever, so I decided to, first time ever, I decided to take off the sticker and move it all the way to the side up here. So now you have this full experience of Venom, and like I said, it's my most favorite Marvel character. Well, that or Toad, I'm still not... Deciding on that. Right here we got the Spider-Man suit from the Amazing Spider-Man movie. It's made of this, I don't know if it's this, this, this honeycomb material. It's a really weird film material, but it's really, really cool. Right next to that we got Mortal Kombat. 
it's a bit it's a bit of a plain hat, but you know it still says enough with with the logo. You know everyone will recognize it. And on the end of the back, it says you know finish him. So that's the trademark of Mortal Kombat. Rabbit season. Yes, we got this Daffy Duck one. Also fits really nice in the head. We got the Zombie Trapper from the Halloween collection of 2012, I believe. Don't quote me on that. It could be 2011, but you know, it's 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 a dog ear cap. Really dope. And then we come off to my first of two Holy Grails, Chewbacca. Man, I had been searching for this for two years. Finally got it, and you know, it's it's one of my most valued pieces out there, but not as valuable as the one next to it. Yes, I'm keeping it clean and keeping it in the box. I, I've only wore it once though, but I'm planning to wear it again in April, because I'm going to the flagship store in Frankfurt, and you know, you gotta show off this little thing. We got the Beast hat, the original one. Yeah, all you people who own this, you know how valuable it is. All you new era collectors out there, you know how valuable it is. So I'm really happy I own this one. And then we come to the Iron Man Big Face. This is the Big Face from the first Iron Man movie. Really sick. When I first started collecting, I also saw this one and I was like, I have to have it. Even though it's not, it's not part of my Holy Grails, you know. Only Beast and Chewbacca are the... Only two Holy Grills I really wanted. This one was also in the list of, man, I probably should get it. Right next to that, we got War Machine from the Iron Man 2 me movie. I actually got it together with Iron Man. I got it for a sick cheap price. The guy who sold it didn't know what he had, so I got really lucky with that. Iron Patriot from the Iron Man 3 movie. My brother-in-law and my sister got it for me when they were in London, so hats off to them they also got me this one as a surprise the Iron Man mask with the gold bill it really shines in the sun really dope and they also got me this Iron Man 3 blueprint version I actually asked them to take back for me Iron Patriot and this blueprint version and then they came back to Holland and they got this for me as a surprise so I was really happy with that really cool my brother-in-law also owns it and you know we got a picture together of us both wearing it it's, it's a really it's a really sick cap really love it thank you guys and by thank you guys i mean my sister and brother-in-law thanks thank you all <laughs> so right here we got the magneto of the arm and small faces series and as you all know you know the underbill it's, it's this entire section right here has an undervisor print on it so yeah, this one is also one of the more special small faces ones because it has this magnetic piece in the bill which you can actually, you know, just stick it to your refrigerator or whatever you want. It just sticks there. Right there, we got Colossus. When I saw it on the picture, I thought, you know, this is going to be a, a cool cap. And then when I got it in, I was like, damn, this really, really looks good. And his face is really big. So I was really happy with that. I had to stretch it up a little bit to make it fit on my hat, but you know it, it retained its shape. So I'm really happy with that. And next to that, we got Wolverine, small face, also one of the more special small faces as it has, you know, the slashes on the side and the back. Really love it. Also fits really, really nicely on my head. But right then we got Nightcrawler. You know, a lot of people probably won't recognize him when you see when they see you know his face but you know it's about me knowing who I'm wearing so Captain America it's officially not part of the original run of the small faces but um it's obviously obviously another small face the difference with this one though is um whereas the original run had like this painted on under bill which you have to be really careful for because you know when it gets wet it might, the colors might run out so watch out for that if you own one of these small faces hats the undervisor of these series which also includes you know Thor this one is actually um, I don't know what is it silk so it doesn't run out when it splashes 
when water splashes on it. So and it also feels really, really soft, really high quality like. So as you saw it, right here we got Thor small face under bill. You know what? Let me show you. Let me guys show you from what I'm showing you as of now. Let me just show you the underbills, the ones that have a special underbill or a top bill. Right here we got Han and Chewie throwing it up. Hell yeah! This was the Spider-Man films all over. Rhino kicking Spider-Man's ass. Really dope. A zombie Trapper, Brain Matter, Inside. Ah, now I'm tempted to show you guys the inside of all these hats too, which have a special inside. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. Already showed you guys the Rabbit Season 1. So, right here the thing. We got Mr. Fantastic. I'm gonna get back to you guys in a moment. <laughs> right here we got the Invisible Woman. Oh, just look at that. That that is so sick. You can just look through it. Sick, sick, sick. Got the Human Torch. Ah oh, man, should I? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna show you guys the inside of the Beast hat. Also, I have to take it out of the box first. So here we got Thor from the first Thor movie. And remember, all the insides are all made out of satin. So that's really dope. Let me just get this one out of the box. Give you guys a good look at it. And a good look at the inside. Yeah, man, just, I'm just loving it, this hat. It took me three years to get it. To get it. Man, I'm so happy with it. And we're, we have it. You know, Hank McCoy's DNA strands. Really dope. Let me put it back in the box. I'll put it back later. So, um, oh yeah. First Iron Man hat doesn't have anything on the inside. War Machine on the inside. Iron Patriot, also with a special underbill. With the crest, loving it. So yeah, let's go to the underbills of the Small Face series. That's Magneto. We got Colossus right here. Colossus right here on the side. Wolverine. X Men. I'm loving it. Also, really cool how, you know, two panels of the inside are yellow. <laughs> loving that too. Nightcrawler. It's the Night of the Demon. You know what time that is. And Captain America, like I just showed you guys. Almost yeah. fell on my vacuum cleaner and the underside of Thor. Now, let's continue on. We got, you know, Hulk, Incredible Avengers from the Avengers movie. Also has the satin Hulk inside. I'm loving it. I've got, you know, Hulk's small face right here, which also has this Hulk beanie which I got for my birthday from my brother-in-law yeah it was yeah it was for my birthday appreciate it man thank you very much thank you all satin green on the inside really sick and you know this hat has got the rip pieces I'm loving it we've also got an another different Hulk also with a printed under visor, Bruce Banner changing into you know who. Let me put this beanie right back. There it goes. We got a different Magneto one right here. Also has a magnetic bill, so really dope. I'm loving it. And it also has the under visor. So that's really cool. We got to play an X-Men logo. This one actually really pops out, man, you know. I've, I've said in the past, you know, that, that some of these embroidery things just pop out, but this X-Men one, it's a whole different story. Just just look at the 3D effect. That is that is just sick. I'm loving it. We've got a different X-Men logo right here. I don't know what it was officially called. It was some of the old school logo or something. I don't know. 
we got the Zapped from Cyclops. And this underbill is really sick, just look at it. It's a black on black underbill, but you know, this, this Cyclops outline is made of this rubberized material and it really stands out actually when you see it. So, really dope. Bump the sound of Nightcrawler just poofing away. Also has the underbill with Nightcrawler on it. Really sick. I was scared to put this thing on because of the white bill. <laughs> I was scared that it gets dirty real easy, easily. And right here we got Snake Wolverine. Also with this sick underbill. I'm loving it, man. I'm really, really loving it. I need to stretch it up though. It's a size seven, and I've already tried and stretch it up, but it's still, it's still hella tight. So stretch it up a bit more. Red Skull, big face, big face from the first Captain America movie. Just look at it. Material is sick. Looks like it's wet. I'm really loving it. Satin Red Skull inside. Man, I'm just loving this hat. Captain America Shield. Also got this one for my birthday from my sister and brother-in-law, and I'm really loving it. It's, it's it's plain, but you know sometimes I just like wearing these you know, none attention grabbing hats. Got the red underside under bill. You know, it, it's really cool. I, I, I love it. I love it. Got this Joker from the, what was it, Batman Begins or The Dark Knight? Dark, Dark Knight. Yeah, Dark Knight, of course, with Heath Ledger as a Joker. So right here we got Bane with the zipper, with the active zipper on the back of the head. Also got this Batman beanie, which I also got from my brother-in-law for my birthday. Got it together with the Hulk beanie. Really sick. Batman A-frame snapback, which actually has, for the people that watched the video of this one, has a faulty Marvel tag in it, so, you know, it's gonna be worth... Not really as much, but it's probably gonna be worth a, a bit, you know on the long run. Joker plaid or plaid, I don't know how you people say it. Really sick. You got the penguin right here. Penguin small face with the blue satin inside. This one is also size seven but it you know it fits way better than the Wolverine one. I also stretch this one up quite a bit and it fits perfectly in my head. It fits like a seven one fourth so really sick. Got this Riddler small face, purple satin inside, and the purple just is so sick. Just look at that purple satin with the purple underbill. Really, really dope. I only got 10 minutes left. I need to hurry. <laughs> you got this Riddler logo one. Don't know what it's officially called, but you know, all I know is that it's a sick hat. I'm loving the hell out of it. So then we come to my new shells. Let me start with the bottom ones first. Watermelon from the brand Yes No Maybe. The red panel is actually Velcro and you can, you know, you can see it. You can just reposition them if you want to. Really dope. Also, we got this wool one from Yes No Maybe with a collaboration with New Era. And we've got this concrete print also from yes new maybe collaborating with new era i really love it then we got the new era logo it's really dope you know this thing just says what you're all about especially loving this <laughs> pink on um, blue i'm normally not not a guy who wears pink but i don't know this this one just looks sick we got the new era old traditional font i think it's what it's called. Really sick, really sick in combination with my red new era shirt, so I'm loving that. Got the it's the only minor league or space sports related new era cap I got. The Las Vegas 51s. It's a little too big so I don't wear it often but I really would like to so I'll probably have to do another shrinking down session on it. Hope it fits better. Then we come to my three snapbacks, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the best, can the best candy on earth, if you ask me. 
for the sake if you haven't tried it, drag down Reese's Peter Martin Cups and just enjoy it. We got Kenny. Mom and Dad got this for me from Berlin. Really sick snapback also. And then we come to Captain Caveman. All you people who were born in the 80s or 90s remember him probably. And we got the steampunk Mickey. It's really sick when you, you know, when you lose a flash on your camera, the two eyes just, it just pop out, you know, they just reflect it. It's really cool. Block 28. New Era Disney with the rat satin inside. The artist was called... It was named after those little guys from Star Wars. I don't know it anymore. Can't remember it. Another Block 28. I don't know the name of this one, but <laughs> this is a signature. And also has the blue satin inside. It's really sick, really dope. Then we get to Michelangelo, the pixelated, you know, you know what this is, really dope. Pac-Man, with the underbill that says Pac-Man, <laughs> just loving the hell out of that one. Then we get to one of my latest purchases, the Jack-O-Lantern from the Halloween 2009 series, I guess, or 2010, I don't know anymore. This one is the best fitting hat I have, you know, it's a 738, it fits like a true 738, so, oh man, this thing is just smooth as butter, smooth as butter, I mean, smooth as butter, what the hell is that? <laughs> Got the Mishka Keep Watch 10 year anniversary, with the faux leather top bill, can yeah, you probably can't see it from here, with the famous underbill of all Mishka's keep watch hats we got the K Kame Shippo or whatever it's called officially I just call it the Goku hat you know with the fur representing his tail going around the hat really sick then we got to the oversized character X-Force Wolverine with his gray and black suit on and the X-Force red and black logo and we've got Deadpool right here so there you go guys, that's my entire collection up to date. As I said, in April I'm going to the Frankfurt flagship store, so I'll probably have a lot more caps in by then. There you go. Now me making this video, it, it probably doesn't mean I'm going to start doing videos again, you know. Like I said, you know, it, it just wore off on me, you know, making videos every week. So I'll probably just post videos whenever I feel like it. I'll probably do a new video from my haul from Frankfurt that might be interesting. But um, yeah, for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and just let me know what you guys think of my collection. Thank you.